Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 21 and 22 of Blue Reflection Race. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 and 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, you're probably wondering why, like, it, it's currently now the second. I literally just got home from the play and everything, and I'm tired, and I'm like, I need to get this out and done <laughs> before I go to sleep. Mm -mm. Just you and her. <laughs> I just want to know, with the last remaining episodes we got, how in the world y'all going to stop this? Because I should be done with this by later on today. Because my first spring show officially starts later on today. So when I wake up during the afternoon or whatever. Because I'm going to try to watch that. Then watch this so that I can be done with it. And then also kind of start my next show. At least like maybe Sunday after... Mm, I don't know yet. Either before or after AOT's finale or just wait until like Monday, Tuesday to do it because of course it's probably going to be Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday because um, it's going to be the only time I'll be able to do it and then also freaking watch next week's Squid Girl as well. Shoot, I also got to make a thumbnail for the show. Damn it. Oh my God. There's so many things I got to do and I'm only one person. have happy music at a time like this. I figure because once again they were literally gonna be like, Yeah, you you gonna get the short end of the day. You're not gonna transform like the rest of them. But you can be okay like the rest of them. Yeah. 
Well, what else could she say? I mean, but it's she's speaking the honest truth, though. Mm. possibility Too much on her. It's a possibility, yes. Let me hold up Nina just being honest though. No, you're just being honest. Yeah, I mean, yes, but once again, you're being honest. There's nothing wrong with you being honest. Sometimes you have to be harsh. Why don't you take it to her? Mm. 
it's almost like in a way she knows that the bond between Ruka and Hiori is strong and she doesn't want to come between them. Almost like jealousy in a way. But I don't think it's like that. You better fucking wake up. I swear to God. Like, I'm, I'm ending this show later on today. But technically in a week for everybody else. So hopefully she freaking wakes up. I'm like, oh my God. It just, it feels weird for her to be here but to not be here, you know? Because, of course, she wouldn't be up and walking around. It's going to take some time. Oh! Well, damn, never mind. Thank God. Nina or Mio? Nina. Oh. 
Aww. You get jealous, man. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which means Amidu can get her feelings back. Mm. Mm -hmm. that bond that they have you just have to realize that you love Amiru just as much as Amiru loves you Why, though? You want to be reminded of that every single day? See, now, these two look more like a couple in this scene. So, I mean, hey, I'm not mad at it. I like them together. Mm. 
Of course. I think so, yeah. See, we're getting closer and closer to seeing, like, you know, as the character that I kind of want to see. Not too evil, but still, like, right at the peak where she was so pure to the point where her world changed and she was, like, she got hella corrupted. I think this episode probably was the best episode for the series. It wasn't too slow or too fast. I'm glad Momo is finally awakened. I'm glad, once again... Mio and Momo have reunited and everyone technically as of now except Ruka, um, Ryoka and Aminu have had their happy endings or just having their partners um, together again. And so I love the fact that, you know, for these last few episodes we have left, they're all thinking, well, you know what, let's do a lot of things together. If we're really going to save Shino, we have to be like all on the same beats connection wavelength wave point whatever so that all of our feelings can come together no one can't screw up the, like can't fuck up because if we fuck up we fail that's it but i mean yeah very interesting episode oh excuse me i'm sorry oh my gosh i'm trying to stay awake and my mom wants to wash up after this but i end up falling asleep <laughs> And I gotta get this out before I go to sleep myself. But yeah, very, very good. This is something I think for a while I truly needed. Yes, I still wanted that Shino-ish. That was like her main episode all about her. Yeah, we didn't really get it. But you know, we got three more episodes left. Technically two after when I watch this next episode. But I mean, whatever happens with these last three remaining episodes... Like I've said, weeks and weeks before, getting closer and closer to the end of this show, I hope and pray that this show ends in a good light. Yes, it is a very underrated show. As so many people have said, um, either 
to me in DMs or in a comment directly, but still at the same time, there is a lot of unanswered questions with this show. And like I said, probably by tomorrow when I do watch the last two episodes or really later on today when I watch the last two episodes because it's Saturday, um, I probably will address some little issues that I had problems with the show, but not like half of it will be like as a fan and the other one will be as like a critiquer. But still, I really enjoyed this episode and I hope with the last three that we have left we get a little bit more moments with this but we're I think this next episode this is going to be like more battle-esque and then we might get a mixture of like the two with like the last two remaining episodes but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 22 okay episode 22 and three two one go To see she knows fast. We have to see her most inner demons. We have to see how far at the time Sheena went in order to prepare herself to, you know, become the character that she truly is now that's the thing hmm? my thing is why is she here by herself like one it was already dumb enough for he already to come here by herself but then of course meeting baby Shino is like her destiny Um, not nah, kid, you stay here. That's evil reincarnated. Don't fuck with that. No, 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 no. You don't mess with that. Like that little force field looking thing when she touched her. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I took all of them out, but I didn't. There was one left. The oh my god, I hate when this happens. There's always one that's left. Dangerous!
Well, um, that little girl is, you know, ow. So the, that could be another reason on why she can't speak. Horrible, of course. If it's to a point where you can't speak, we all know that girl's past is horrible. What? What the fuck? So hold up, you telling me that that one right there, the one who got hit, uh, Kano, she killed the real Shino? Uh oh. Jesus. Or baby my thing is why didn't they tell anybody else but this isn't right though you shouldn't get hurt
Mm. Of course, she got hurt. Damn. That's not kindness, baby. What if they kill her mom? Or their mom? Because something tell me that's going to happen. Because, woo, Jesus. She died, didn't she? Oh. So we basically just making cults. Did I ever take no, it's still in my hair. <laughs> oh no, she didn't die. Okay, thank God, she's okay. This is when she kills, isn't it?
No, that's because you've beaten her so much. Girl, that scared the crap out of me. Jesus. Is she gonna make her drink it? And this is how, what the heck? Oh my God. I, I, okay. Never would have expected the twin thing and all of that. I'm thinking, nah, she know was corrupted from the beginning, sat and killed people, but no. Oh my God. You poor thing. But no matter what, I think in a, in a way, Shino always saw Kano in Mio's eyes. And that's how it started. That is so fucked up. Oh my god. But then it makes you also wonder, how did the mom get so sick and twisted like this? See? Unanswered questions.
If she hadn't said something more, she could have prevented her death. So, of course, she still, she blames herself. And, of course, anybody would. I don't know. Maybe because she's like her an important type of fragment. Like, now, now? Are we sure about this? That ain't sound good. Oh! Of course, Uta. Yeah. To kill you. Because she's the last little piece of like her purality in order for her to 100% be like this evil incarnated that she wants to be. Okay. This. Not even this. These last two episodes. Number one. Best fucking episodes of the entire series is right now. Number two, episodes that I had needed, wanted for the longest freaking time. I'm glad I got these. I'm super glad I got these. Oh my God. But this was sad. Like, especially, like I said, I never would have thought it would have been a twin thing and such. And that hurt their mom. was so fucked up in the head to kill one of her own daughters and make her other daughter drink her blood like that that is some mm -mm. crazy I don't even know what else to say I, I really don't I'm at a crossroads on it but it, it was good this was an episode like I said that was an ultimate need because like I said ever since the beginning of this show Sheena was the most mysterious slash interesting character and so you kind of already knew going in like once you got to know her a little bit more in the way she thought and how she ticked like you knew her past was bad but I wasn't expecting it to be that effing bad I was not expecting that their mom was beating on her sister and a little bit on her and that they were both playing just one person aka Shino and if whoever got wrong the other one got hit and beaten because of the fact is this mother their mom had to be something in a group, possibly, like I said, a cult. And she's trying to take the word of what she's telling to them to make everybody say, oh, hey, like, you know, this is the word of this. Or, 
um, and their feelings and stuff. And so join this group that they're a part of. We have books. We have this. Da, 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 da. And so in the end, one of them has to make this ultimate sacrifice so that the other one can finally be this ultimate god. The school gets re um, gets built. A whole bunch of girls go to the school now, which, you know, eventually Mio ends up wearing the uniform as well. Um, and such. Even Uta was there when, you know, Shino was a damn kid. So, I mean, just to see how, like, the, um how how it's so easy that the word of certain people can get you like not corrupted is the word but really like interested but then at the same time with the way this is going yeah corrupted is the right word to use and this wasn't this wasn't corrupted in a good way this was corrupt in a bad way because i don't think anyone else knew the fact is what which is like oh well you know <laughs> what if pain is good and it's like but pain is one of the bad the, like saddest things that a lot of us feel every single day and sometimes yes we don't really want to feel that but at the same time we need to in order for our days to get better we we don't have like not every day is going to be happy not every day is going to be sad not every day you're going to have a good one i mean especially like uh, on the job that i know i work now my days it depends some days i have good days some days i have some bad days some days i have some not so greatest days and some days i might have days that are in the between where like it starts bad in the beginning and then by the time i come home it's it's good because there's always that one person and it seemed like for shino mio was that person and she tried helping her but then once um shino was like you're a sin that someone's saying that you know what I don't want to hear your BS or anything like even if someone says like well let me come be that little person and let me be that one person to make your day a little bit better but you are so like down in the dumps and you feel like nothing can change like your outlook on how the day or the week or the month has gone and you're so upset about it then yeah like you in a way you do have a right to feel about that and that's okay not everybody's gonna change something like okay so oh god i don't even want to talk about this okay so last friday i um i had the worst day of my life and i, I pray to god that it never freaking happens again but um i'll just say this long story short i ended up crying and this one lady the lady um me and her got into a little semi uh debate and stuff um she consoled me she said hey it's okay you're going to be fine. You you can't do everything when it is just you. Just take your time and do this, this, that, and the third. But at the same time, when I was like, yeah, yeah, I understand. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, no, you don't understand. I have a quota to try to get done before this time. And if I don't get this done, I'm going to be more hard on myself than you think I am. Or, you know, the person who is waiting on me is probably going to be a little harder on me than I normally am on um, even on myself like we are our biggest cheerleaders and critiquers at the same time we can be sitting here like yes got that day you got this like go kick some ass or whatever but when you fuck up and when you fuck up bad like in the back of your mind you were probably saying like the most like fucked up things about yourself and saying like why are you doing this and the thing is and I'll even tell like to myself that I'm also I'm gonna say the same thing that I'm saying to myself that I'm saying to you you shouldn't do that always try to be positive yes there are some good days and sir there are some bad days where you just don't want to be positive but always have a positive outlook and whatever happens at wherever you're at whether it's at work you're at school um some bad things are happening at home once you leave that place it, it disappears and it goes away and you get to start the next day in new and it's a brand new day with brand new energy and brand new emotions and everything else just know that at that moment when you leave wherever all that anger that hate that sadness whatever oh my god i'm about to tear up over this um it's gone and you don't have to worry about it you can go home and yeah you can still be pissed about it or whatever about especially what happened during the day but 
you just come home or you get in your car wherever you are you take a nice deep breath and you just let it out hell if you have to you scream and you do something that makes yourself feel better you listen to music you read a book you watch a movie you, you do whatever and such to make your energy that made you like all pissed off and high up here to make you mellow and chill and relaxed and calm because this is our lives and these are the things that we have to deal with on a daily basis it's not easy god it's not it, it really truly isn't but you take each step day by day and if you can you also sit and you talk to someone about it that's always the better thing like anytime when I have a bad day my mom is the first person who I call when I get home whether she's here or she's at work and I just say hey this is what happened or I talk to some of my other youtuber friends and we all have conversations about it or sometimes I will Another way that I make myself feel better is I go on a rant on Twitter and uh, or even Snapchat and I will go on a rant for like a hot minute until I finally say, yeah, I feel a little better now. I'm not as pissed as I was. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, both of these episodes are good. I'm really excited to see the finale that come when I watch it later on today, probably after um episode one of season two of love live michigasaki school idol club but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 21 and 22 of blue reflection right if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for everybody else and next saturday for patreons for the final two episodes of this show, even though, like I said, I will be watching it officially later on in the day um, to see how this show ends, my final thoughts on this, the good, the bad, and everything in between. And then after that, we will officially start our next show, which some people know, but not everybody. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.